G'day mate and welcome to Factorio with me, Jedi. Today we're going to be doing a simple tutorial video on how to split off the main bus. Now, as always, if you like this sort of content, click the like button. If you learn something throughout this video, I'd very much appreciate if you click the like button as well. At the same time, if you want to see more daily Factorio content, ranging from mod highlights to more tips and tricks videos like this to a let's play, by all means, click the subscribe button. And lastly, if you want to see more just tips and tricks videos like this or tutorial videos, there is a playlist linked up the top right hand corner. So as I said today, we're going to be doing main bus split offs. And what I actually have here is this example we're going to be using all the way through this video, which is four red belts worth of material. Now, the reason I've used red belts worth uh, red belts is each red belt is equivalent to two yellow belts because these move 30 items per second. This moves 15 items per second. And the reason I've, I've done that is I want to use an odd amount of material. Now, th throughout this video, I'm probably going to be more often than not referring to this not being four belts but being eight belts worth of material because we're going to be we're going to be removing uh one yellow belt two yellow belt three yellow belt so we're going to be removing three eighths of the material that's on this main bus then we're going to be removing another two belts here because we're running red belt which runs twice the speed so we're actually going to be removing five eighths and then we're going to be remo removing another two being seven eighths of the material that's down here on this main bus and You'll understand as we go through the video, but I, I'm in, intentionally choosing to remove an odd amount of material to demonstrate how all these main bus split offs work. So, our very first example, um, and this one, this one's probably the the e easiest to understand, but probably the worst to build. I'll put it that way. So, this one comes from the top lane. We're splitting off 50% of the material and pulling it up here. From our second lane, we're again splitting off 50% of material, bringing it up here and merging it with the 50% we already have. We're then bringing it up here and we're merging it again with the 25% off the third lane and the 25% off the fourth lane, merging all that together into the one splitter, which we're then taking off a single belt's worth of material. So as I said, eight belts in, one belt comes out, okay? We're then, as you can see, we have some gaps now and we're doing the exact same process again. I'm having eight belts worth of well eight belts total of which there's only seven belts worth of material and i'm splitting off another belts worth we are using a filter splitter here um, and i've just set this to you know only send belt immunity equipment down here there are no belt immunity equipment so it's kept this lane simple and empty for us but we've gone from eight belts down to seven belts now we're down to six belts at this point um, because we're bringing off another single belt worth of material we're down to five belts, so we still have full compression. As long as, because I'm taking 25% off each lane, as long as I have more than, more than, what, uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, as long as I have more than four belts worth of total material here, this will stay at maximum output. So again, we've gone from eight belts down to seven belts down to six, boo. Eight belts down to seven belts down to six belts down to five belts. And again, I'm splitting off everything. We're now taking out two belts. So I've gone from eight to seven to six to five to three belts worth of material at this point. And as you can see, we're still pulling 25% off each lane. So at this point, I've taken seven eighths of the material off the main bus and there's a little bit left over. And more importantly, you can see by the way it's separated out, this is still a balanced amount of material. And the way this one works is it gives priority earlier in the bus compared to later in the bus, but every single one of these can potentially take 25% of whatever's left on your bus off your bus as a split off. So we come down to the next example. The next example is basically the same thing. Um, we're still taking the top lane and the second lane so this is where things get a little bit less perfect so we're taking the top two lanes we're splitting off uh we're splitting off 20 well 50 percent of the material comes through the top and the other 50 percent comes through here we're then of the 50 percent of the first and second lane which we've merged together in theory we're then splitting half of that and bringing it off again so this is less perfect, but as you can see, the footprint is much smaller than the one we have had above. So again, we've got eight belts worth of material. Then we come down to seven belts worth of material. You can see the pattern between here and here is pretty much identical. We've then come again and down another one belt. So we've gone from uh, eight belts at this point to seven belts at this point 
to six belts at this point. Again, we're still bringing off a yellow belt with material. So we're down to, what, five belts at this point. And then as you can see here, because this doesn't take exactly 25% off each belt, we actually have a situation where there's actually some material missing. So we've prioritized earlier on in the main bus. And at this point, we're, we're actually prioritizing the main bus over our split offs because it's not quite as perfect as this system because this one was actually pulling off each individual lane and then merging them together. Whereas this is taking the top two, it's balancing them between these two lanes and then taking whatever materials at this point, taking half of it off and sending half of it through. Um, so it's not quite perfect at this point. Uh, and as you can see, by the time we've got to here, we've taken, in theory, this one's taken seven eighths of material off. This one's l left a lot more on the main bus because it's not quite as well uh, engineered as the as the building above, but it does fit inside its own footprint much better. Um, we're going to come down to the next build, which is just basically a variation of the one above. We can see that our gaps and our patterning between this one and this one are, are pretty much identical. Um, the biggest difference being this is taking these two top lanes, merging them together, and then taking this one, merging, or oh, setting half it through and half it off. This is doing the exact same in reverse. So it's taking these two top lanes, balancing them together, and then moving half of that material straight across. It's then, rather than this being on the top lane, it's now in this uh, second lane. Exact same story, and then we're merging them back together with a splitter. Um, we can see by the patterning that between this build and this build, they're basically identical. There's no real difference between the two. So then we come down to this build. This build's normally referred to as a waterfall build. Um, and there's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm gonna explain both of them below. Uh, so we have eight belts here, and we're gonna take off one full belt. Now what we're actually doing is, on a splitter, splitters are designed to split things evenly. So what we can do is, better if we go to an example with not a lot left on it, uh, perfect example would be here. And I can split things evenly between these two belts. But what I actually want to do is I have a, want to have an output priority of left. So I want to make sure that everything goes to left first. And that's what we're doing repeatedly through here. So we have eight belts worth of material here. I'm actually taking one belt's worth and setting it up here, which leaves seven belts worth of material here. So you can see two, 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 and just one, because this one's full of gaps. And it's taking one belt off, sending one th belt through. At this point, we're taking one belt off. We're having, which is, you know, this belt's worth of material here, which is being filled in by the lane below. So we're actually taking one belt of material, moving it up to give us two belts worth of material right in this gap to then take half or well, take one belt of material, take that off and leave one belt of material passing on. At this point, we, we do the exact same thing. So we're taking one belt of material. Oh, these need a gap in them. Yeah, they need a gap in them. So it's probably better off if I, uh, just for example's sake, do this and then we'll copy all those through. And you can see this is exactly what's happening. So we're taking two belts worth of material, which is passing straight through, it's unused. Two belts worth of material here, again, it's passing straight through, it's unused. We're then moving one belt of material up and the other one belt's continuing through. Of that one belt, of, well, the, the one belt we've moved up to make two belts being one from here plus the one we moved up from it below, one belt's being continued through because we're moving again one belt further up the bus. Once it gets to this point, we're taking one belt off and we're letting the, the last one belt pass through. So we've got one, two, three, four, five belts worth of material here. At the same point as everything else, the exact same amount has been pulled off. Here, we're getting to the interesting thing. So we've taken, again, two belts worth of material. We're taking one belt up higher. Uh, let's space these ones out as well. Uh, just easier to see what's going on. Uh, copy. So we're taking, come on, fill out. So we're taking again, one, uh, two belts worth of material. We're splitting that into one belt going straight through, one belt being moved above to merge with the one above to merge with this lane here. So we have two belts worth of material. One goes through, one goes above, one goes through, one goes above. At this point, because we're actually taking a red belt off being two belts worth of material, this two belts disappears up to here. There's nothing left over, okay? 
Uh, this, the all the other materials continue straight through. At this point, you can see that we're actually taking this belt of material, plus we're taking this belt of material, and we're merging them together. Uh, bring them in here, merge them together, sliding them up, sliding them up, and then taking them off. Again, we'll separate these out uh, like that. Set our priorities again, and after this all filters through, you can see our one belt of material got merged up in here, become two belts worth of material. One belt, uh, our two belts worth of material, one belt got merged up, the other one couldn't fit, uh, couldn't, there wasn't room for it to merge up, so it continued passing through. We've taken our two belts from here, merged them up into here, and then finally merged them up and out. So we can see of our eight belts worth of material we had originally, we have one belt left over. Um, everything else has been pulled off uh, perfectly. The, the difference with this system compared to the systems above, the systems above aim to take off 25% of each belt. These will take off a whole belt every single time which means this will always let all parts of your factory run to some extent. Some will run faster, some will run slower. This one, the aim of this one is it's going to run everything into your first build, your second build, your third build, your fourth build, your fifth build. By the time you get to your sixth, your seventh, or your eighth build, there's nothing left over. And that's perfectly fine because once your first build backs up, it's going to stop taking material which is going to put more pressure down here. Once your second build backs up, it's going to put more pressure down here, so on and so forth. So this, this is your, your different options when it comes to your builds. The same thing does happen here. If this build backs up, you'll see this changes to be back to be eight full lanes worth of material, so on and so forth. The last example I have is a reverse waterfall splitter, which, which is my actual preferred method of taking things off the bus. It's also a whole lot easier for me to explain. So. As you can see, we have eight belts worth of material. We're taking off one belt. What's actually happening here is the exact reverse of what's happening here. This one was trying to always fill the gaps um, before it takes material off. This is trying to fill the gaps afterwards. So we've taken one belt worth of material off and let's just put in some spaces on the very first one. And you can see that we have one belt worth of material here. We're trying to fill that gap. So we take we take one belt worth of material here, or half of this red belt, move it up, which leaves us a gap, which we move up, which leaves us a gap, which we move up. As we get to the second build, we've now taken off two belts worth of material. So it's two yellow belts worth, being one red belt worth of material. As you can see, one red belt is completely empty. I can visually see very quickly and very easily, hey, I've removed one quarter of what was available. As we move up again, we can see I've, I've removed yet again another yellow belt's worth of material. Um, at this point, as you can see, I'm, and we'll space this one out, uh, copy those across. As you can see, I've taken a whole belt of material off, which has left a gap. So this whole belt worth of material has been moved up to fill that gap. This whole, well, half a belt worth of material or, or, or one yellow belt's worth of material has been moved up to fill that gap, so on and so forth. When we get to the end, we can see that this top belt is being pulled off. This is coming up to fill this gap. And I can visually see very, very quickly, very, very easily that, hey, of my eight belts of possible material, I've only got one belt left. It also means when it comes to re-injecting materials, because this is something that commonly happens on your bus, you might find that you get to one point in your build and you're just like, there's no iron left. I have no iron. You can very easily see that this is the point where you need to start looking at re-injecting material. And you can inject it from the top, you can inject it from the middle, you can inject it from the bottom. It really doesn't matter. You do need to remember that it is gonna take, if your bus is four lanes wide, it's gonna take you four lanes or four sets of splitters to get the material moved from a bottom lane up to a top lane. Um, only if you're injecting from the bottom. If you choose to inject into the second lane, it only takes one splitter to get it, that material moved back up to the top lane. But yes, this is the different types of uh, the different types of main bus split offs that are available or, or are commonly used inside Factorio. I'll actually link to this particular save file that you can load up and and, and play with and and look at and experiment and maybe even take your own blueprints from. But yeah, that is where I'm gonna leave this video. Um, as I said, there is lots of many different options. This used to be my preferred a long, long time ago in Factorio because I used to be able to know that, hey, I'm taking 
on average, 25% off. This one, I, I take actually 25% off each lane. This was slightly more compact, and I, I end up using the slightly more compact version, even though it was not quite as, as perfect as the version above. But this has become my new number one answer. This is just so much simpler. Um, priority splitters were added later in the game. And as soon as they were added, this became my only way to split off a main bus. It just makes life so much easier. Anyway, with that said, um, I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. By all means, like I said, if you learned something along the way, click the, click the like button. It's very much appreciated. At the same time, as I said, there is that playlist up in the top right-hand corner if you want to look at more tips and tricks videos like this. So... Uh, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.